Welcome back, I'm Peter Van Oden. And I am Odin. Yes, he is. He hasn't changed his name, which is good, because I chose it for him. <laughs> if you oh, change it... I am now Leon. I chose that name too. Now I'm Gandalf. He's Gandalf. Okay. You shall not pass! I will pass as much as I like. <laughs> Thank you very much. Mr. Gandalf. <laughs> uh, we are back with another episode of Let's Chat. Nutley. Exactly. Um, and we've got, it's been an extremely long time since we have done this. Extremely. We've had some really crazy things happen to us in the last three, four months since we've recorded. Yes, um, I have been, I am a vampire, so I've been in my coffin hibernating. <laughs> No, <laughs> this is not at all what's been happening. <laughs> I've been hibernating. That's why we haven't been able to have not play. Um, we've had we've bought new equipment for our camera and our microphone, and that has let us down, and we are very sad, and so we've been delayed because of that. We've had family issues, what well, tragedy, I guess. Uh, my dad passed away, which was unexpected. Uh, he's been, um, yeah. So it's been a crazy few months for us. Uh, and we're also now, after the sad news, we're preparing for something exciting. Preparing for my sister's wedding. Yes, which will be very cool because it's on Halloween. Yes, so she like she likes her Halloween themed aesthetic. So yes. she's getting married on Halloween, and there will be skulls and crossbones. And I'm making the cake. Yeah, yeah. I was just about to say there will be skulls, like chicken skulls and. Cow skulls. No, on the cake. They're going to be on the tables. Yeah, I'm. Uh, yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm, that <laughs> would be so weird. Just like chicken bones a, on the cake. Chicken bones. Just but, gonna put. Some, just gonna put some chicken wings on the side of the cake. We're gonna eat the cake. chicken wings first. But um, I am doing little tombstones for the the cake toppers. Yes. Um, and so, although there's been something sad that's happened in our family, we've got something exciting to look forward to. And we, it's because it's Halloween. It's dress up. Halloween! <laughs> and, and Odin. And I'll say Halloween. Halloween! Uh, I'll say Halloween, Wee! probably. <laughs> um, and we are making um, costumes, and so we can give you a bit of a sneak peek. Or I'm a card knight. He's going to be a <gasps> card soldier slash knight from um, Alice in Wonderland. And so I've made him a full plumed helmet, breastplate, shoulder pads, arm guards, knee pads, um, and... Yeah, a spear, a cool matching uh, heart yes, spear. Yes, my stuff spear. Because I am Gandalf secretly. I am actually secretly Gandalf. <laughs> you... you shall not card pass! Card pass. So I'm a card knight. And Gandalf. And Gandalf. You shall not card pass! And I'm going to be the Mad Hatter. My wife's going to be Alice. And our, uh, our Odin sister, my daughter's going to be the Cheshire Cat. So we're going to themed <laughs> family costume. And it's going to be awesome. So look look out on our Instagram or on Twitter, Twitter. Facebook for you know, pictures because I'll be posting them. I, and on our website, I might do a little blog post about the costumes I have made because our website has been suffering because of our busyness and craziness in our life. Um, but yeah, we're super excited about that. Uh, sadly, my dad can't be there, but I think he's pretty old school and traditional. So I think the spooky wedding may have uh, <laughs> not been his forte. So it's been ages since we've done this, as we've already mentioned, but we're excited to get back and just talk about what we've been playing. We've talked a bit about what we've been doing and what we are getting ready to do for the wedding. So should we jump into some video games we've been playing, Odin? Yes. Would you like me to start first? <laughs> You're going to ask me to start. No, because I've got more games than you, and you've got just one or two to talk about it's because you're obsessed and addicted to one particular game so i'm going to talk about spider-man 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 <laughs> the amazing spider-man it's really good marvel's I... spider-man the game is fantastic do you want the number one best thing about it you can fly around well web around okay that is the best thing you're right yeah <laughs> i overcome your greatness the second best thing it's an open world. No, because that's... Well, inter interesting. Do you say There's that? There's side quests. You're just naming random stuff. Let me explain. Let me explain <laughs> You're you, you actually got it close with the open world. I'm not a big fan of open world games. I tend to like ones that allows you to explore, but there is a kind of a progression to how you play. Like, Dark Souls is my perfect open world game where you oh, have freedom, but... Not that much freedom. 
the, the, the more you get used to the game, the more you can actually skip things and do stuff. Yeah. I'm taking you through it um, in quite a linear fashion, but it, there is a, a, a kind of a main way to go. That's how I like my games. These open, huge worlds that are just full of side quests and collectibles, I get very bored in very quick, and I tend not to be interested in. Spider-Man is open world. It is only Manhattan Island, so it's not too big. But it's just so much fun swinging. So you were right with that first one. I overcome your greatness. <laughs> and I, I felt I thoroughly enjoyed doing the collectibles. When they unlocked, they didn't all unlock at once. They unlocked as you did the, through those main stories. You progressed. They unlocked new side quests. And I was able to go. I, I felt like I wanted to go explore and get the new abilities that they helped you get. And that that felt, that was felt really good. Um, I beat the game. And I had 93% complete because there's a little tracker and it shows you how much of the game you've completed. Yeah, I've seen a little bit of you playing. Yep. And it was 93% when I finished the main game, which I, I thought was great because it means that I was doing a lot of the side stuff and the main things at the same time. For it to, to show you the, what I don't like, an example, Batman Arkham City. I thoroughly enjoyed the game. I, when I was playing it, I thought... I'm Batman. Like, I really had that thought. Like, I felt like I was Batman. And that was great immersion. I finished the main story, and I had 30, 30 35%, I can't remember the exact number, complete. So, six, 60 to 70% after that was just grinding and item collecting and searching the city with no real progression. Whereas with Spider-Man, I did it as I went, I had fun doing it, and... It felt very rewarding, and I, I really like that. Do you understand what I mean by that? Yes. It's, it's like it doesn't feel like you're just doing it to just collect numbers. You're doing it because you're having fun, and that's what gaming's all about, isn't it? Yes. Why do we game, Odin? To have fun. We game because we have to. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Actually, yes, I have to. That's my job. Because it's fun. No, it's my job. Oh, okay, it's his job. Pay him some money. Um, Give me money, <laughs> Odin. So that is Spider-Man. I really think you should play it. I don't know why. I thought he'd be all over it like a hot rash, but Odin no. has not really tried it. That's young me. Young you? Yes. That's when I was like five. How old are you now? A million. I'm a million and two. You're a weirdo. Okay, why don't you tell us about the game you've been playing? Terraria. Tell me about it. Well, I know about it, but just, just, just explain it a bit. Um... So we've been playing a little bit, ages ago, but we didn't do that much. We just thought it was just surface stuff, where I found out that it's mostly digging down. Yes. And when I dig down, I found minecarts, and it was amazing. Well, it's probably because when I um, first played it with you when we first got it, and you, I think you felt the same, is that going down was very hard because getting up was extremely hard. Yeah, but... But now um, you've unlocked things, like there's extra jump boots that you've got. Ah, uh, yes. There's rocket packs that you've managed to... Rocket boots that you got that Yeah, but those are quite the... far, hard. But they're, they're, what, what I'm saying is that there's things yeah. that help you, but you've got to do some exploring first. Yeah, so I explored a little bit and I found a magic mirror, which teleports me back to my spawn point, which I think is really good. That is helpful. Yeah, Um. so... Yeah, also... That means you can go down without having to worry about get, having an exit, because you've always got one. Yeah, so um, I just went down, mined some loot, built some armor, and then... That helped you live a lot faster. Yes, and then um, I realized that people will move in, so I started building a house, a big house. Um, it's kind of cool that you get... I wish my, yeah. um, Minecraft had a bit more NPC and characters of the world. Yeah, I think that's the, like, the, stupid. They've only got, like, villagers, are... which you basically just go... No, they go... Hmm? <laughs> yeah, that's yeah. Um, and, and we are behind on because we play mostly Minecraft on PlayStation. So yes. we we don't have all that. We just got the a big update, and we're yet to go do some more yes. Minecraft Zoo with it. But so we are behind. But I wonder if they will get to that point in Minecraft where they'll try and add a little bit more flavor and characters. Yeah, to the like world. um, I'd love that to happen. So like um, n normal Minecraft on the computer, they've got command logs where you can type in commands. That's yeah. also yeah. Um, I would like them to add that mainly, so you can put in commands like um, like you could pay, put in like um. So like um, there's like a radius when you get in a certain radius of that command block, you die. 
You just like traps. You just oh, want... I love traps. So you just want me to walk also, in. Also, um, yeah. there's like a teleportation. So you, like, you can trip, step on a prison plate, but sometimes you need certain items. So I need, I might need a diamond sword. And then you teleport to a certain point. Yeah, so there could be a pressure plate, need a diamond sword, step on that pressure plate, teleport to something, somewhere. Oh, that would, like that, a battle that, arena. That would be cool. But what I mean, it would be cool to have more character to world. Like Minecraft Story, story Mode, yes. they've got like a city that's built around in that Minecraft. Yeah, that imagine if weird. that city was inside the Minecraft, and it, yeah. there was always, a, and it could be random every time, but imagine if that was in Minecraft, and that you could go talk to NPCs, yeah. and go on quests. Well, and I think would be how, cool. How much, how much um, better would it be? And yeah, that's what Terraria, think... Terraria kind of has, doesn't it? It has a yeah. bit more of that. There are like many, more mini bosses than Minecraft has. Yeah. And there's reasons to beat them because you get rewarded. Tell people more about your adventures in Terraria. Um, Let's get back to Terraria. Forget so Minecraft. So, I went mining. Minecraft is so last year. What? <laughs> yeah, um, so I went mining, um, and I started finding some other YouTubers that play Terraria. Yep. Um... They obviously are better than me because they had help with other people. Yeah. Um, yeah, so they found, they went, dig down to some a place called Hell. It's not a nice place. I, yeah, it is. <laughs> um, it actually isn't in Terraria. So you dig not down. not surprised. <laughs> yeah. You dig down um, and they're like demons, voodoo demons. Voodoo demons, Um, they drop a uh, guide voodoo demons. So in Terraria we spawn with a guide, don't we? Um, yes. The guide voodoo demon, the guide um, voodoo doll. If you throw that in lava, um, this sounds really creepy. A wall of flesh spawns. Yeah, that does sound creepy. Yeah. Do you have to fight the wall of flesh? Um, this yes. Sounds, this sounds kind of like a Dark Souls boss. Now you're talking oh about it. Oh my goodness! It's so Dark Souls. Super Dark Souls. Um. Yes. Yeah, so it's um. It's just basically a giant wall of flesh. So it starts from one side of the map and goes across to the other. And so there's, uh, I think, like three or four the parts. That's huge. Or the screen you're on, or is it the whole, whole, whole map? The whole map. That's huge. And it's just move across, killing you. Yeah. So um, there are hungries, which is really weird because it just... Um, so the wall of flesh has, like, little strings of flesh connected to it. Oh. <laughs> They're, like, fleshy balls with, like, teeth. And they'll come mm. grab you. Um, they've got a small amount of health, so this they're easy to kill. Sounds like you're describing you, because that's what you do to <laughs> me. <laughs> um, and, um, but when you defeat them, they're not kind of killed. Um, it's just the flesh string just so pops the, off. How do you get rid of this wall of flesh? Um, you have to, so there are two or three um, like eyes connected to it oh, that go, shoot laser eyes. You're like mini bosses on connected to it. Yes, yeah, so there are li um, little laser eyes that come out of the eyes. Um, and Who then thought of this stuff? Some crazy person has thought up this Probably some big, made Dark Souls, I'm assuming. No. Um, and, then, um, and then there's like another bit, which is kind of like an eye, but instead of like um, the... So it's just like the same shape as the eye, but instead of like the eye part, it's got like teeth. And it and it goes like and and a leech comes out. It's just this like long little just this like long little thing with like a little mouth. It's like a it's like the um oh, I can't think of the name at the moment. The aliens from aliens. Oh yeah. That's where they, so they open up the mouth and there's like a, a snake. Mouth, yeah, but it tongue, just flies out. Teeth. Oh, so it's not connected? No. Oh, okay. It's not connected, it goes oh, okay. and then it just blah, fly and so around. Is this kinda of like one of the end bosses or something? Not end. It never ends to Well, like, is it but, like the, is it the biggest, hardest boss? Is what I'm trying to say. Um. Well, so there's multiple different modes. So you start off, you can go normal mode, that's just your standard mode, or you could go expert mode, which is already quite hard. Yeah, okay, it's just hard. But yeah. um, then you defeat the wall of flesh and you go to harder mode. Okay, that's just the difficulty. Yeah. But, um. But so defeating the wall of flesh, you go into hard mode. But pre hard mode. The wall of flesh is the strongest, but after hard mode, oh, there are so many more strongest. Like the first, um, are they the same bosses just harder, or are these newer bosses? There are new bosses. Oh, that's kind of cool. Um, so the f I um I've never ever defeated a boss until I defeated the Queen Bee, which you can find in an underground hive, which is in a jungle, I guess. You defeat that underground jungle hive. Yeah, so there's an underground jungle, and you can sometimes find a large hive. Then there'll be this like little honey 
This game's really weird. Egg thing. You destroy that, the queen bee summons. Sometimes, um, so you can kill it. There's a chance of it dropping this little thing which summons a little bee pet. Oh, yeah, I saw you with the bee. Um, Did you hit the bee? No, you got someone no. else that flies around you. I got... Um, no, yeah, you had the beehive sword. And then you had the bee flying around you. I swear I saw you with the... That's. I think that's a hornet. Because um, you hornet, can also... Bee, you potato, also, potato. Um... <laughs> Um, you can also get um, you also get like beaver beaver wax, which I made a hornet stuff out of, which summons a hornet, which will fight for me. That's pretty cool. Um, and I mean, then I managed to defeat a lot I, of the things. I think we need and, to get you to stop talking about Terraria, so because it sounds like you could go forever. I will. Um, <laughs> so Queen Bee. Also tell us about your character. It. You've already told us about the Queen Bee. You fought the Queen Bee. What else? Yeah, do you, what else do you want to say? About I already the Queen Bee? talked about him slightly. His name is Gandalf. Oh, your character, okay. Yeah, so I based him on um, Gandalf, and I yeah. um, I actually defeated... Like, oh, you're a wizard, Harry. Kind of, yeah. That's the thing, you really um, just fight with a sword. But it's, Gandalf has a really cool sword in Lord of the Rings. Yeah, I've actually got... I've got, like, a giant... You've got a fire sword at the moment, don't you? It's, like, six no, I up, long. No, I upgraded. Yeah. Um, so when I defeated cool. the Wall of Flesh, it gave me this, like, um... Butch. So in Dark Souls, you can get like a butcher knife. Oh, yeah, knife. the butcher's cleaver, yeah. Yeah, but just like huge. It's like two times the size of my character. Yeah, the like, swords are. Whoosh! The swords are pretty cool in this game. It is so epic. Um, um, and do you use magic much? Because you see you got the uh, different. Um, because I'm Gandalf, I do use magic. You try magic. and use magic? Um, so, Queen Bee dropped a, um, like a bee gun which shoots out little bees, but it uses mana, which is magic. Yep. Um, so I've got maxed out mana, but you can also get, How many get, stars like, is that? How many mana stars is that? I don't know. It's, like, quite a bit, though. But you can get, like, armor, like, um... There was a piece of armor in hard mode that, um, gave me plus 60 at ha- mana. But oh. it only gave me three defense. I wanted... But, um... Oh, but okay, there was so another piece that gave me 14. Defense. Yeah, they were both helmets, though. So I went for the, um, 14 defense of instead of the magic. But, yeah. Well, if you've already got max magic or high magic, can no, you... but um, I can get oh, so... more magic. So it's the max the... max, so you... max you can get for your character, but you can get bonuses on top. Of your yeah, armor. so um, oh, cool. stars will fall if you get three stars. You can make it into a mana star. Yes, I know that. Yeah, I've got the max for the mana stars. Okay, but you can get um, um but I can get bonuses. Armor bonuses. Okay. Um, that's pretty cool, and his character does look like a wizard. Yeah. He looks like um, because um, I defeated little this like little dude. real character. That's called Tim. He's like really funny. He's like a skeleton wizard. He's got like a robe and like he shoots out water balls or something. And he's got um, and his a. His name's Tim. Yes. It's the most unmagical name I know. you could think of. Um, and he's got this like wizard hat thing. I defeated him. You got his hat? Yeah. That's how you got the cool but wizard then, hat. But then, you know what? It's like Big Hat Logan that we rescued. There was like of. almost no point because later when I got into hard mode, I went down my tunnel to the um, hell. And I found the wizard. I found the wizard. The not action. Tim, not Tim. Oh. A wizard, an NPC, who will come. And he sells a wizard hat. Is it a better wizard hat? No. Oh, well, the wizard hat does nothing. They're both just oh, variety just, Oh, for looks. Yeah, they're variety well, you, you, well, at least you bet a little, little bit. At least you defeated Tim. Nobody oh. wants a Tim on your side. I'm just kidding. Tim's a great. Tim. Thumbs up, Tim's. <laughs> well, he does try to kill well, you. So how much do you have, like Terraria now? Because you never really got into it when you first got One it. One bajillion. And so, that's the thing, folks. Never write off a game. You might not like it the first time you try it. You might not like it the second time you try it. But the fifth or sixth time you try it, you might love it. Yeah. <laughs> um, um, also... No more Terraria. When you get into... Um, <laughs> when you get into hard mode, there's a place called the Hollow, which will start to spread. And there are unicorns and pixies and stuff. Or so you can get wings, so you can fly forever. Oh uh, well, this sounds. This game is on. This game's crazy. Okay, <laughs> uh, I think we need to move on. Time's fly! getting on. Um, I will save one of my games for another time, but we'll quickly talk about Starlink. Starlink. Where Odin hasn't played much of it because he's addicted to Terraria. We did a stream <laughs> of it, and he does like it. A little um, bit. It's it's a new Ubisoft game, and it's. Newbie we got the sto- new- newbie software. software. Newbie! You're the newbie That game soft. is so newbie. Oh, shush. Sure, sure. <laughs> um, what was I going to say? We got it for the Switch so we could get Star Fox. And we got the Air Wing. The R Wing. Don't worry. Um, the R Wing. 
and it's cool. The little model was fantastic. And it, it's you, really cool. The first thing I tried was turning the wings backwards to front, and, it's, and it changes them in the game. And it you, is but, so cool. And you shoot backwards. It's hilarious. Um, well, you don't shoot backwards um, unless you've got... Well, if the if you took the wings off, the gun's are already on there, was what I was meaning. Yeah, Um. so if you take off the, um, guns the little um, real guns that you can put on the machine gun seven, so if you've got the wings backwards, they'll just shoot, shoot backwards. backwards. But yeah, if you turn... That would actually be a good... If piece. you have the guns pointing forward before you twist them, the real guns shoot backwards too. I was shooting my rockets backwards for a while by accident. Yeah. And um, I didn't quite realize. I'm like, how come they're not doing anything? And I realized <laughs> they were shooting backwards. <laughs> yeah, I, I literally realized you put them on like that, and I was like... Silly dad. What are you doing? Yeah, exactly. Uh, but yeah, you fly around, you fly through space. It's a little bit of a No Man's Sky feel, how you can go fly a new planet. No, They're not new. No. Like it's, Sky. It's, it's set, but you get to fly between planets, which is pretty cool. Yeah. You go hyperdrive. I really like that. Um, no Man's Sky copy. It's more of an adventure game than I really thought it would be. Like, I thought it'd be just like a shooter flight tech flight game. Flying around a planet. Like, a, if it's if you're running around... And so it's kind of like a third-person action game, but your your, That's the only down your, char- your thing? characters are spaceship. Like, um, I don't um, I don't understand why you need the characters because they, they don't actually do that much. Well, oh yes, you've got I've got a couple here for example. You've got different pilots. Yeah, they I've... change the dialogue, so you can just switch out the pilots at any time, and the dialogue will change from the different characters. The personalities are different. They have different power ups. You mm. didn't see any power ups, so I've unlocked power ups for um, Star Fox. Fox McLeod. Yeah, I th- um, I wish the little characters would run around. Like you went into a planet, land, and you could like land, and I was, and then your lo- yeah, ship would turn into a little person. Well, not the person turn. that it would hop out. Yeah, I hop out from the spaceship. I thought that might happen. Yeah, but I it would take too long to run around the planets. So I guess that's why. Right. But it would be yeah. cool if there were like buildings you could go in. Yeah, but. It, it, I got this weird reminder of an old game I played when I was not much older than you called Descent, which was it was a, sh- a third-person shooter, but you were flying through like giant spaceships, but you're a little ship, and you were flying and, and like had to like dodge bullets and shoot. But it was a 3D game that you're going through, and it kind of made me f- this made me feel like that. And it actually flies pretty well. It's a, it's I've never really played much Star Fox. I played a little bit of the Super Nintendo version of it. This is what I imagine a Star Fox game would be like. Even though it's not actually technically a Star Fox game, it is for us because we've got him in it. Yeah. But this is exactly what I'd imagine a Star Fox game being, fully realised. And I really like that. And I've had a lot of fun. The model and the figures are cool. Um, and you you can buy more ships and stuff, but I don't think you really need to. It's not really forcing you to. It's not blocking anything out. Yeah. The game would be easier with a few different... Because the different guns you can buy, you can buy new guns which you can click on, also, and different you, elements. So I think having more options would help the game, but it's not going to hurt you. You also, it's good to buy more ships because when you die with one ship, you, you can respawn right there and then. Yeah, from from just switching the ship. Yes. So I think buying ships is quite. It good. would help, but it's not necessary. Which I'm saying. It's not necessary, Whereas but it's pretty good. Skylanders, it's you kind of had to buy more figures to unlock everything in the game, and that bugged me. Yeah. I don't like that. But Starlink, it's it's a really fun game. I really enjoy it. Um, but I think that's enough about Starlink. The final thing I think we want to talk about is we got to go see last week My Hero Academia, Academia. the movie Me. at the movie theaters. It's not movie. It's movie. Are we, are we turn into cows now. Yes. We've got movie. We've got the bovine disease. Movie. Um, and it was so good. Did you, I know. How much did you like it? Quite good. See, I really, really like My Hero Academia, right? I love seasons one and two. Season three, I didn't enjoy as much. I think it, it lacked some of the magic. I don't know if it's because I was watching it week by week, because the first two I watched were all in a quick succession. And I don't know if it's because I had to wait each week, and so it felt like nothing was really happening in each episode. But this movie was... Everything I love about My Hero Academia turned up to 11. So the dial wasn't on 10, it was up to 11. Just to get an extra I bit. I thought it was from That's a joke 0 from, to 10. Uh, yeah, it's a joke from a movie that you don't get. Don't worry. Other people might get it. <laughs> it's a reference to Spinal Tap, uh, a mockumentary. But I'm not going to go into that rabbit hole. <laughs> but it, it was dialed up. Yeah, I and enjoyed it. It was just so good. And the action was fantastic. The double... 
the um was it the Detroit Smash at the end when yeah. when uh, didn't bite my hand <laughs> when uh, my, um All Might and Deku did the smash together uh the 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 uh, fist arm that he got from the research girl That's was so really good. cool yeah like it's it like a it's like a really it's like it looked like a like really expensive ore or something it was real cool armor down. yeah uh, it was just imagine cool. just an entire like thing so you could just charge up your entire body and be like ah! um yeah it was a really good movie like the action as i said that it was good we watched it in japanese and odin was able to understand enough with his yes. reading he's not as quick as but he did good and it was good so i highly recommend the movie i think i'll get it on blu-ray because i'd like to see it again when it comes out um the only thing i didn't like that much is that um don't spoil anything you gonna spoil something kind of I'll cut it out. You tell me and I'll cut it out if it spoils it. They weren't in their cost. They weren't uh, in yes, their suits yes. most of the time. That's not too much of a spoiler. You're right. They, it's on summer break, the movie is set, and so they yeah. weren't in costumes, and Odin likes... And I, so I agree, their costumes are cool. Costumes are pretty cool. But they were, like, the it, girls... It makes sense, though, because the whole action... Yeah. Um, happened, All the action, though, just... Happened when the they were... The girls were just in their dress and the little boys were in their suits. suits. Yeah, which looks cool. Don't disappear off camera. Um... It kind of actually gave me a little bit of a Die Hard. You don't know the movie Die Hard, but I, I have no clue. Yeah, it actually gave me a bit of a Die Hard feel the way it was going down, and I thought that was really cool. I don't know if it was intentional or just a byproduct of the, what happened in the story, but um, I I really liked it. Two thumbs up plus ultra. Wait, one half of a lot. You put those two thumbs up, dude. That deserves it. Yeah, um, no. One thumb up. And like three thumbs up from us. Oh, three thumbs up. That's pretty good. To wrap up, we're going to tell you a little bit about what we're going to be doing in the near future. We are going to be running a charity stream, hopefully soon, to chop off Odin's hair. Ah! We're going to chop this all off and donate it as cold. a wig uh, for people who need a wig. It's going to be cold. He's going to have a cold head, but it's luckily it's summer here in New Zealand, so... And my hair's going to be so light. It's going to be so weird. But it's good for a good cause, and we're happy to do it, aren't we? Yeah. And so uh, we'll set some dates soon, so just stay tuned. Follow us on Twitter, Facebook, and everywhere else you can, and we'll try and keep we'll try and get back online a bit more than we have been recently. Yes. But uh, Odin, send us out with a farewell, and well, we'll be out of here. Well, if you enjoyed our lead shot, not, not play. punch! Play. <laughs> yeah, don't punch, punch me. <laughs> um, like, subscribe, and... Punch again. Plus Ultra!